Oracle Planning Cloud provides access to the Groovy scripting language. Groovy allows you to create context-specific, dynamic business rules that can dramatically improve the performance of calculations and data movement in your application. Similar to business rules, you create Groovy rules in Calculation Manager. You launch Groovy rules from any place a business rule can be run. With Groovy rules, you can dynamically generate calculation scripts at runtime based on context. Optimize performance of calculations and smart push operations by focusing only on changed data. Perform data validations and opt to cancel operations if the data entered violates company policies. For technical reference on designing Groovy rules, see the Java API reference for Oracle Enterprise Performance Management Cloud Groovy rules on the Cloud Help Center. The Java API reference includes examples that demonstrate the syntax and power of the EPM Groovy object model. In this series of tutorials, you'll learn design best practices on how to use Groovy rules to perform focused data movement in smart calculations and planning data. In this tutorial, We'll show you best practices on how you can use Groovy rules and Smart Push to move modified data into a reporting cube. First, let's talk about a typical scenario. On this data form, our planners modify employee's salary and assign a reporting manager. After the form data is saved, Smart Push is run to copy data to the reporting cube for analysis. At this time, dimensions are also consolidated, if necessary, as the data is being copied. If the form contains hundreds of rows of data, all of that data is checked against the configured data map, processed for dimension consolidation, if any is set, and then pushed to the reporting cube. So, depending on the amount of data on your form, this process may take a while to complete. You can improve the performance of data synchronization between your input and reporting cubes by designing a Groovy rule that identifies and isolates the data you modified and pushes only the isolated data into your reporting cube. Let's take a look at an example. We configured a simple data map for Smart Push that maps dimension members from our input cube to our reporting cube. We prepared forms that display data from our input and reporting cubes. The form used for data entry has Smart Push enabled and uses the form's context to push data for all the members selected for the dimensions defined in the form. For the Groovy rule, here's what we have. The script starts by identifying the associated data map for Smart Push. This section uses the data cell iterator method to identify edited cells and isolates them. Then, this section takes the isolated data and runs the focus data movement using Smart Push and the data map configured and associated with the form. A message displays when modified data is moved to the reporting queue. If there are no modifications, a message displays when there are no changes and data was not moved to the reporting cube. After we created this Groovy rule, we deployed it the same way we deploy business rules. Then, in form management, associated it with a form. The Groovy rule runs after the form data is saved. Now, let's see everything in action. Here's a quick look at the data in our reporting cube. I'll go to the input cube's form and make some changes. I'll click Save and let my Groovy rule run. Let's check our reporting queue. Here's our updated data. In this tutorial, you saw best practices in moving modified data using Groovy rules and Smart Push. To learn more, visit cloud.oracle.com.